Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Egypt have officially launched on Thursday the country partnership document CPD for the period 2023-2027 with the United Nations Population Fund UNFPA as part of the United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework. During the launch event, Minister of International Cooperation Rania al Mashat have highlighted the significance of the partnership, emphasizing its alignment alignment uh, with the national priorities, particularly in the areas of the gender equality and youth development. Uh, Mashat also praised the role of the UNFPA uh, in supporting Egypt's population strategy and its uh, collaboration with the Ministry of Health and Population, the European Union, civil uh, society organizations and also other relevant uh, entities. Uh, the partnership aims to provide family planning services, empower women uh, and girls, uh, combat gender-based uh, violence uh, and uh, contribute to achieving sustainable development uh, goals. Uh, the partnership also supports the national project for the development of the Egyptian uh, family, which aims to improve citizens' uh, childhoods. Uh, well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have this uh, phono with Dr. Maha Mahgoub, advisor to the International uh, Labour Organization. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, uh, Dr. Mahgoub, what is the importance of launching uh, the partnership document between Egypt and the United Nations uh, Population Fund? Yes, uh, uh, the importance of launching the partnership document uh, is to, um, to promote the investment capacity building with special focus in youth, girls, adolescents and family planning programs and facing challenges related to climate change. And of course, all of these are the main goals of sustainable goals of development and achieving Egypt's vision 2030. Therefore, the United Nations uh, Population Fund uh, just cooperated with Egypt in their launching the 11th country program for, for Egypt, Egypt, which starts in 2023 and it would be ended in 2027. Yes, uh, Dr. Mahgoub, uh, what are the terms uh, uh, of uh, this document? The main terms of this document just enhancing the family planning services and contributing, uh, reducing the unmet need of family planning, raising the competencies of health services provide, uh, providers at the Ministry of Health and Population, and increasing community awareness by launching the life path campaign to provide various family planning services uh, and means. Yes, uh, so uh, the document is uh, in line with the number of priorities uh, of the Egyptian state. So what are the most important of these uh, priorities? Uh, the most important uh, of these priorities are providing family planning services, empower women and girls, combat gender-based uh, violence, and contribute uh, to achieving sustainable goals of development, especially goal number five, uh, the gender equality contribution to develop capabilities, raising awareness among women, and supporting the Egyptian national strategy for youth and adolescents, uh, which started from 2021 to 2026, in cooperation with the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the other relevant ministers. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Mahgoub, you've just mentioned uh, now the gender equality. So uh, one of the most important elements uh, of the document is working on the gender uh, equality. What are the steps that Egypt have uh, been taking towards equality and what are the most important aspects uh, of equality? Uh, actually, the states have been working to enhance the role of women as a major actor in development and in line with the strategy of empowering Egyptian women till 2030, which was launched by the President Abdel Fattah Sisi. This strategy aimed to, uh, to empower women uh, to be a key partner in the sustainable goals strategy through the political, social, economic empowerment of women as they, ha they are among um, uh, the, uh, those important beneficiaries of development projects and in the way worked achieved goals of sustainable development. We have noticed that from the previous years that um, a, great, a great achievement in, uh, in w with women in uh, building her capacity for uh, allocating uh, political seats, uh, women empowerment e economically by uh, uh, funding her projects. A lot of achievements have been occurred during the last year, uh, previous years.
Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Mahgoub, one of the most important elements uh, of the document is uh, supporting uh, uh, women. So Egyptian women have made the many achievements in the recent years. What are the most important of these achievement, achievements uh, in your point of view? Uh, the state raised a woman's standard of, uh, of living through education, health, uh, social solidarity projects and empower women through lines of credit of micro, small and media projects, especially in the neediest area. Uh, a lot of efforts have been made over the past years in the economic empowerment of women and the implementation of investments in building human capital by increasing women enrollment in higher education according to the, uh, uh, to the uh, rules, uh, new rules and regulations which have been granted to women. Yes, uh, Dr. Mahgoub, the document also seeks uh, uh, to support the national project for the development of the Egyptian family. So what are the most important features of this uh, project? Uh, in fact, the in, United... Yeah, yes. In the supporting the Egyptian family. Yes. Yes. In, in fact, uh, the, the United Nations Population <coughs> Fund is supporting Egypt's population strategy and its collaboration with the Ministry of Health and Population uh, beside the European uh, uh, Union uh, civil society organizations and the relevant entities, uh, all of them uh, um, support national projects for development uh, uh, of the Egyptian families which uh, aim to improve citizen uh, livelihoods. Noting that Egypt's state uh, commitment to implementing the required policies and reform to support and development, uh, development of family, develop capabilities of young men and women, and improve their access to uh, quality service and care through national programs and initiatives like uh, Decent Life and uh, in line with Egyptian, uh, Egypt, sorry, Egypt uh, Vision 2030 and uh, the Sustainable Goals of Development. Yes, uh, Dr. Mahgoub, uh, uh, the features, uh, the important features uh, of this project, is it comprehensive development or economic also? Actually, it's a comprehensive, uh, comprehensive but uh, in the first stage, it's, uh, it, ha it, it builds uh, the capacity for women, uh, how to assure uh, the gender equality, because, uh, because this is a very important issue. Um, because uh, we have a lot of um, uh, gap gap in the society, not not in <coughs> Egypt but all over the world. Uh, for example, we don't find equal opportunities between uh, men and women, um, and it takes huge efforts uh, in, in all over the world, not only in Egypt. Uh, just uh, for example, the global uh, gender ca uh, gap report in 2022 indicates that. The world needs 132 years to achieve equal opportunities between uh, men and women. So therefore, it's international uh, issue, not Egyptian. And of course, Egypt since uh, 2016 has worked uh, 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 very, very, uh, um, and you have worked a lot just to improve this area, how to, how to promote and how to improve uh, the situation of current Egyptian people and how to overcome the gap, gap between men and women. Uh, and of course, the United Nations mentioned that we have achieved a lot uh, in, uh, in, uh, in gender equality. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information, Dr. Maha Mahgoub, advisor to the International Labour Organization. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a short break and I'm going to be back with you. Thank <laughs> you.